Hola, yo soy Sebastián. Muchas gracias a todos los milenios. I'm here for holiday. The week leading up to the race was really nice. Um, yeah, this this place, the Explorian Hotel, is pretty amazing. Good food and everything, so that just like put me in the right mood, I guess, for for this last race. I have to say that I probably wasn't a hundred percent perfect prepared for for another Ironman, but. Um, and I wasn't really motivated to, to be honest when we left home. I was motivated for Island House, but yeah, to come here and then like the excitement of the, of the people about the race and everything got me a little bit fired up. And yeah, the swim is something like a downhill swim, you could say. The distance is accurate, but uh, you definitely have a really strong drift in the water. And uh, yeah, that definitely plays in my in my favor, together with the salty water. And yeah, so the swim is uh, was really nice. Definitely, I actually really enjoyed that swim. And yeah, that's always a good thing if you start in a in a long day like that um, with a good feeling and a, some positive thoughts. Actually, yeah, that was good. I know the main competition is probably. Uh, Ivan Rania and Stefan Schmid and um, yeah, Michi Weiss and yeah, I, I was able to, to catch Ivan Rania really early on the bike and um, that yeah, I think made me uh, feel very positive about uh, about my uh, yeah my ability, my legs um, uh, and yeah, then I I enjoyed the um, the the ride for for one lap and. I was really uh, scared to, to bonk later in the ride because I was I, I was aware that my longest ride was two and a half or three hours and that was just three days before the race or four days before the race. Everything else was way shorter after Kona. And yeah, then I lost my nutrition and unfortunately uh, the cap of the bottle fell off and I was like, oh, that's one of the... Uh, things that really could ruin your race. I turned around and uh, luckily there was still something left so and I had some emergency gels at the uh, yeah at the special needs so uh, yeah that saved the day I had to stop twice but yeah and the run lots of spectators really nice nice run course because it's in the shade most of the times so you have a little bit of a nice breeze and I was running hard the first uh, lap or at least uh, I tried to run fast the first lap and then yeah it was pain control pretty much. <laughs> I didn't want to suffer more than really necessary uh, to, to get a win and I mean check the bike record, um, uh, new course record, uh, validated my uh, automatic qualifying spot for Kona next year. Got a nice win at a really nice island at the end of the year, so yeah, happy. <laughs> um, there's a lot of races after Kona, or I guess a few, but why did you choose uh, this one? Um, uh, I would either uh, do Ironman Arizona, we have some good friends in, in Phoenix, I've done the race before, so I know everything and I like this race as well. And I thought, I, I was sure that Lionel's gonna do this race, so I thought, yeah, maybe uh, 
a little uh, retaliation after after Kona, but and um, but honestly, I didn't really felt prepared for another for another ride with him. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, the main reason to choose this race was I wanted to do Island House um, Triathlon. It's such a great race, and I don't want to miss miss those three four days with all the other guys. That was really nice, and yeah, and also the. The travel was really easy. There was a direct flight from Frankfurt to Nassau, and there's a direct flight now back from Cancun to Frankfurt. That's great, and yeah, and of course we we wanted just to spend a nice week at the end of the at the end of the year. Um, what was your purpose in doing an Ironman? People are probably like, why the heck would you do an Ironman this close to Kona and a week after <laughs> Island House? I mean, why, why did you do this? Because you usually don't do it in your career either. Yeah, sure, um, definitely. I always prepare, uh, prepare to, to do just two long course races a year because uh, yeah, it takes really a lot out of your body. Sometimes uh, you don't realize that till three, four weeks later and you really pay the price um, for, for it. But I wanted to have a little bit more freedom regarding my preparation for next year and for Kona 2018 and therefore I choose to just yeah validate my, my Kona spot right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this freedom, maybe I still race a summer Ironman. I mean this, this uh, plan always uh, worked very well in the past so I don't know, but I mean there are a lot of options and now I could actually uh, have a look on those options and yeah, that was one of the main main reasons to do it. What's your favorite workout, the most beast workout you did going into Kona? <laughs> are you allowed to share it? Uh, yeah, I think I am allowed to share it. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a, just a simple uh, brick session, triple brick session where I run, bike, run, bike, run, bike, run and yeah but i'm not telling you exactly what's happening during that but yeah of course it's it's very very tough and uh i mean it comes as close um, uh, to the race from from the level of uh, exhaustion that you probably should should be um, uh two or three weeks prior to the race kona next year i guess you've already validated your spots so you're going are you looking forward to it? You think race dynamics will be different? I think yes. I think there will be even more more options for next year. I really have the feeling that a lot of athletes are probably um, yeah, let's say um, are about to peak in their whole career. There are like five, six, seven guys that 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 are able to, to win the race and um, uh, and it doesn't help them if they get another fourth or third place or something like that so they are willing to risk something and yeah I'm already excited. <laughs> what did you enjoy the most about Cozumel and the Ironman and the experience and what would you give advice to other people when they come here and race? Oh, it's definitely the the people that make this race special. Um, they're very welcoming, great hospitality. Uh, everybody knows, seems to know about the race, you know, um, all the small businesses are behind this race and that's just great to see. And um, so, yeah, my advice would be, uh, there are some very, let's say, training specific advices I would give you. One of them is definitely you need to be able to stay in the arrow position for a very long time. This is a flat bike course. I see half of the age group field is riding uh, on the on the drops most of the time and not in the arrow position. So uh, doesn't help your three thousand dollar wheel set is not helping you if you're not able to ride in the arrow position. So that's something you need to be aware of and. Yes, the swim is super fast, um, but especially the bike, I think it really depends on the condition. Um, on, on Sunday, we had, I guess we had really fast conditions on the bike, there was not much wind. But I think, especially today, the day after the race, we had way more wind and it would have been way m more difficult. So yeah, you need to be able to ride in the wind and also train your, your mind 
to be able to ride in the wind. So, yep. Um, I think that's it. Well done. How do you say congrats?